Good day. Okay, what you folks just got done seeing and listening to was the sounds of a failing or failed hard disk drive. And in this case, this is a one terabyte Seagate free agent FW 2.0 USB external hard disk drive. It's got 650 gigs of data on it. You know, I'm kind of ticked off at these hard disk drive manufacturers because I think there's a real conspiracy going on here. I really do. I think they design these things to fail. Now, I've got every indication in the world that I've either got broke a broken spindle head, or a, if I'm lucky, I've got a, just a stuck head. But I've got to tear this down, and I'm going to do it in small clips and increments and, and try to figure out just exactly what went wrong with this hard disk drive. Okay, so let's get to this. Okay, now just to clear up a few things, I've been at this, trying to get this enclosure off here for well over an hour, but on an earlier clip, if I do publish it, I mentioned that these sides were plastic, but they're not, they're real thin aluminum, okay, and the only two screws I found was right up on top where the venting system is, I guess, two screws right there. One there and one there, and this little lid just kind of pops off. But other than that, all I found is headache and glue. I'm just not kidding you. And look at all the glue marks. This, one thing I might want to say is this hard disk drive was really never meant to take apart. But I'm going to do her anyway. Okay, right off the get-go here, I want to make dang sure that everybody knows I'm certainly no expert at these hard disk drives or whatever have you, but I mostly learned everything I know from watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of reading. But I finally, finally got down to, I'm not quite at the heart and soul of this hard disk drive. What you're looking at there basically is a cover to the PCB printed circuit board and I got to get past all that to get down to that hard disk drive but anyway this cover right here you pretty much had to peel off this 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 aluminum right here and as you can see it was well glued on simply because if you, if you take a look at this cover right here it's got several clips and there's accesses to these clips to move them out of the way and then you had to get to the taking this top off was key there was two screws in there because there was some pry points right here that was all covered up with that with that uh, cheapy aluminum sole and that hole right there is what I call a Seagate eye uh, which is dangling out right here a little circuit board right there but anyway so I think you can probably get into these by just taking the taking the one side all apart not the other side like I got going on here so let's get to this and see if I can get right down to the hard disk drive itself well it's absolutely safe for me to say that this whole thing's turning into a serialistic nightmare if you know what I mean but anyway I finally got down to the not quite the heart and soul of it yet, but there's five screws, one, two, three, four, and then one underneath this little eye right there that that holds uh, this uh, PCB, which is known as a, a printed circuit board in place. But what I'm finding with the top of this, or whatever have you, is it's crimped in places. Like right here, if you can see that, there's many, many places I'm not going to... So I have to actually uncrimp the top of this to get down to that hard disk drive. And so far, I was able to get it away from the case. Well, I got it taped down, but there's a grounding wire right there that I had to unpin. It was just a two-pin affair right there to get it out. So, so now I'm in the process of uncrimping metal to get that... PCB off of there or controller card so I can get down to the hard disk drive. <laughs> they definitely made this so you can't work on it. 
Well, after quite a few hours, I finally got down to the hard disk drive itself. But the problem of it is, I can't totally get this PCB off here because these these torque screws here are so small that I can't even believe it. It's kind of like a T2 or 3 or something. So I'm going to have to find something real soft to lay this on while I take off this top. The reason why I wanted to get down to the heart and soul of this hard disk drive, meaning the platters and the heads and the spindles and stuff, because I, I think that's where the problem is. But just for information's sake, this is a SATA drive. It's a Barracuda made by Seagate. And of course, naturally on the enclosure, here's all the junky enclosure right here. Boy, that was a pain to take all that junk off there. Let me tell you, I had to uncrimp things and there was hidden screws behind rubber legs and all sorts of stuff. But what I'm basically going to do, bottom line, is crack open this and inspect the inside with this magnifying glass and if I see head damage and all that, well, I know I'm done. So I finally, after hours and hours, got into this thing. Okay, it might be a little hard to hear me because I got a face mask on. But I finally got down into the platters and the spindle and the, the head and if you'll see this arm right here, it's not in the park position. So I'm going to try to get that in the park position. That might fix this. I'm not seeing any damage. I looked at the, the, the spindle heads with a, a 10 power magnifying glass and I'm not seeing, you know, what some of the guys were saying on YouTube. But, uh point being is I need to get this arm parked in the in the park position or the home position and get this drive closed up uh, just as fast as I can but I'm not seeing any scratches on them that platter and all I'm seeing is a stuck arm and that's kind of the way that this drive was acting so uh, let me just kind of end this clip right here and get to this because I am not, I'm in a real clean room but it's not exactly dust free so well I think I owe it to my viewer I meant you know to go ahead and say that I positively got that that spindle or that head in the home position right there and how I did it is I used a number eight Torx wrench and you got to turn these platters counterclockwise and I took this little mechanics hook right here and I found a real nice spot underneath that arm but not touching the head and just click 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 and I'm talking about turning the heads while you're pulling it back to the home position. Have I fixed this hard disk drive? I have no idea. But there you are. I just know that, that that arm right there, I keep calling it the arm, the spindle, the head, if you will, is in the park position. And I do not see any damage whatsoever on this hard disk drive. Because my computer was recognizing the drive and I could see my folders and blah blah blah, but I could not see any data. So hopefully, if, if that's all this was, was a stuck spindle or a head, I'm the luckiest guy on the face of this planet. Let me put this hard disk drive back together right now real quick, like at least get the top of this on. And I probably won't record any more on this file. Well, at least I'm not going to record putting it back together. That's for doggone sure. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I spent the greater part of this day creating that hard disk drive hillbilly fix, if you will. <laughs> but I, just as a side note, I'm still not out of the woods yet, but I did have to run down to the hardware store and get me a set of these torque wrenches because I needed a... Uh, it took a number eight Torx to take the cover plate off of that hard disk drive and come to find out that PCB controller card those little torques were 
torque screws were T5s, but I never did end up taking that off. Now, I've only got one shot. I have no idea if that hard disk drive, there's, there's my setup and there's my camera there. I used to record everything. That hard disk drive I'm pointing right at it, sitting on those towels. I've really only got one shot. It, it firing that thing up and trying to suck 650 gigabytes worth of data off of it. Problem is, I don't have that much storage available to me anywhere in my house. But I do have a hard disk drive coming, a uh, three terabyte jobber that I'll be hooking up to my MacBook Pro. Hopefully, I can end this file on a happy note and come back and report to you that I recovered my data. But that's the story up to this point in time, anyway. What I was seeing was a stuck head or a stuck spindle. That little gizmo there reminds me of a record player arm is what it does. But that's the thing that does the reading and, reading and writing. So uh, I'm, this, this movie file may have a sad ending and it just may not. I just don't know. But thank you for watching so far. Well, I'm very sorry to report that this Seagate drive here is a dead stick. About the only thing working on this thing is that little indicator light. <laughs> that circuit board that you see right there, that little blue light in the middle of your screen. I was going to try to back up everything to that Western Digital 3 terabyte. It's called a My Book for a Mac. But all this little drive right here is doing is just going beep, 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 only real quiet like. Now uh, Western Digital is brand new. I just put it on there today and there's a, there's a icon for it, but like I say it's called a my book for a Mac, but no go on this show. But it was a violent attempt anyway, because I sure couldn't afford a real expensive data extraction from them professionals. And I didn't want to buy a bunch of software, recovery software that more than likely wouldn't work. So there you are. That's the end of this story. Thank you very much for watching the video file. And whatever you do, don't try this at home. Because I take no liability whatsoever or responsibility for your risk takers like what I just got done doing. So don't follow my example.